Hi, and welcome to another Accelerate 5-Minute iOS Tip. I'm Bear Cahill, one of the instructors at Accelerate, and I can't wait to show you this helpful little tip that I use in almost all of my projects that I work on. So I've got a simple app here, and I've just got a Start button. And when I tap this, it starts a timer, as if it were going out to the server or something, and then three seconds later, it prints Done. So what we want to do is we want to show an activity indicator while it's doing that. But we don't want to just hard code that in the view controller or design it in interface builder. We want to make it work on any view controller. So we're going to use an extension. So I'm going to open up my project navigator here and I'm going to create a new file. And this new file is just going to be a Swift file and I'm going to name it something like util for utilities. And I'm going to create an extension here. So I'm going to close these other panes and I'm going to import UI kit. And then in here, I'm going to do an extension on UI view controller. And I'm going to have two functions, one to show the spinner and one to remove it. Uh, extensions can't add anything to the footprint of a, of a class. So I'm going to create a variable called a view here. And this is going to be for the activity view. And it's going to be a UI view and it's going to be an optional. You can make this file private if you want, so nobody else can access it. And then I'm going to write the first function that's going to be show spinner. And I'm going to pass in uh, the view to display it on. Now this could be, you could pass in a view controller. Um, since we're doing an, ex uh, an extension of view controller, you don't have to pass uh, anything in at all. You can do it on itself. But if you want to be able to do it on other views, you could pass that in as a parameter. We'll do it on the uh, self view though. So show spinner is going to create an instance of AI view and activity indicator, place the activity on the view and add that to the view controller's view. So let's do that step by step. So the first thing I want to do is I want to say, let a view equal UI view, and it's going to take the one with the rect and it's going to be self view bound. So this makes sure that it's uh, at zero, zero in case uh, if you do it with other views, you always want to use bounds so that it uh, puts it in the top left corner for it. Um, I take off that let because it's already declared up here on line 11. So now I want to set its background color and I'm going to make it be UI color and I'm going to create a color out of some integers or some floats and I'll do 0.5. 0 0.5, 0 0.5, so this is kind of gray and a little bit transparent. Now I'm going to create the activity indicator, UI activity indicator view, and I'm going to use the style of white large, and then I'm going to set its center be the same center as the AI view. And I'm also going to say AI start animating, and then AI view add sub view, AI and self view add sub view a view. Okay, so that should show it. So if we uh, go back in our code, okay, so we did create it. We can unwrap it there and we can also unwrap this here because we know that it, all of these were created. Um, so if I go back to my view controller and in here I can say self show spinner. And now when I run it, it'll show the spinner when I tap the button, but it never removes it. Um, and I also, I think I put it in the timer. So after three seconds, it's going to show it. It should show it before, but there it's, there it is. Let's put it in the right place now. So I'm going to put this outside of the call that simulates going to the server. And then we're also going to write a function called remove spinner. So in this case, I'm going to say AI view remove from, let me bring that up. So remove spinner is going to get the AI view. This has to be a static function also. And remove from super view. I don't know why it's not giving me. Oh, that's right. This is not a static. What was I thinking? But the AI view is a static. So remove from super view. Let's see what the problem is here. Oh, it's a view. That's right. AI is the activity indicator. And then I'm actually even going to set it to nil to clean up that memory. So we really didn't change the footprint of memory, even though it sticks around for a little bit. 
because we're cleaning it up as soon as we're done with it. Okay, oops. Wow. <laughs> okay, so now we should be able to remove it. So let's go back here and once the timer is done, we'll say remove spinner. Okay, so now it should show the spinner for three seconds and once it's done, it will take it away. So one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, gone. Okay, another thing you might wanna do in here just to make sure that you're taking care of everything is you can set a timer to schedule in let's say 20 seconds that it doesn't repeat and when the timer trips that it calls a remove spinner. So that way it'll never be up for more than say 20 seconds. We need to have a self here. And now we should be able to handle that. And you could put other things in the scheduler that if it did need to remove it from your phone, you would uh, uh, handle the timeout. You could display something to the user and says a timeout occurred. So if I go back to my view controller and remove this remove spinner, comment it out, it should still remove it even though it's not being called because after 20 seconds, we want to time out. And again, we probably want to tell the user something. So I hope that was interesting to you. I hope it was useful. I hope you learned something. And if you'd like to learn more, I or one of the other Accelerate uh, instructors would love to come out and teach a class on your site. You can get contact information in the description below or here.